Hello friends, welcome to Artificial Intelligence video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand Game AI or Game Artificial Intelligence. In the previous video tutorials, we understood that to build any game agent, we need to understand how to implement its sensing, thinking and acting steps. To build any game agent, we need to understand how to implement its sensing, thinking and acting steps. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss implementing sensing. Most of the time in game agents, we implement sense of touch, sense of sight, sense of hearing and sense of balance. Most of the time in any game agent, we implement sense of touch, sense of sight, sense of hearing and sense of balance. How do we implement sense of touch? Let's understand. To implement sense of touch in any game agent, we take help of collision detection techniques or collision detection methods. We have different kinds of collision detection. We have point-to-point -point collision detection, AABB collision detection, that is axis aligned bounding box collision detection, circle collision detection, sphere collision detection, polygon collision detection, ray casting. Sometimes we mix and match. While developing a game, we add colliders to game agents. If colliders are getting overlapped, then we can say that the game agents are touching each other. With the help of collision detection techniques, we implement sense of touch. We take help of different collision detection methods like point-to-point -point collision detection, AABB, circle, sphere, polygon, per pixel collision detection, ray casting, sometimes mix and match. I hope you guys have clearly understood. How do we implement sense of sight or vision? To implement sense of sight in any game agent, we check three conditions. The first condition is, is the other game object within the weaving distance of the game agent? If the other game object is within the weaving distance, then we check the next condition. Is the other game object within the weaving angle of the game agent? If the other game object within the weaving angle also. Then we check the next condition. Is the other game object not obscured by the environment? If the other game object is not hidden by other game environment objects, then the game agent performs different actions. It may attack the other game object or it may evade from the other game object or it may chase the other game object or it may notify the other game agents that there is an incoming. Here I have a diagram to explain clearly. We have a game agent and other game object. To implement a sense of sight, as I told, we are going to check three conditions. The first condition is, is the other game object within the weaving distance or weaving range? If the other game object is within the weaving distance of the game agent, then we check the next condition. Whether the other game object is within the weaving angle. If it is, then we check the next condition. Is the other game object not obscured by the environment? If it is not obscured, then the game agent may attack that other game object or chase or evade or notify other game agents. If any one of the condition is false, then the game agent may roam here and there in the game environment or the game world. That is what actually you see in many games, right? So, these are the three things we model to implement sense of sight in any game agent. Next thing, how do we implement sense of hearing? Sense of hearing is very simple. We ask two conditions. The first condition is, is the sound is in hearing range in 360 degrees? If it is within the hearing range, is the sound detected is a player sound or other game agent sound. We identify the sound. If the sound detected is a player sound, maybe the game agent is going to notify other game agents or it may look for the player. If the sound detected is other game agent sound, then the game agent may roam here and there in the game world. Here I have a diagram to explain clearly. Here we have a game agent and a other game object. The other game object may be a player or other game agent. To implement sense of hearing, we are going to ask a question that is the other game object within the hearing range? 
in 360 degrees. If it is within the hearing range, then we identify the incoming sound. The detected sound is the player sound or other game agent sound. If it is a player sound, then the game agent may locate the player or notify the other game agents. If it is the other game agent sound, then this game agent may roam here and there in the game world. I hope you guys have clearly understood how do we implement sense of hearing. The sense of smell is also similar to sense of hearing. How do we implement the sense of balance? To implement the sense of balance in any game agent, you just take help of physics formulas like movement formulas. With the help of movement formulas, we can check whether the game agent is tilted clockwise or anti-clockwise etc etc. So this is how we implement the sensing step of any game agent. Sense of touch, sense of sight, sense of hearing, sense of smell, sense of balance etc etc etc. I hope you guys have clearly understood how do we implement the sensing step. I think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends. In the next video tutorial we understand how do we implement thinking step. For more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys, thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.